Hi Sarah, welcome to ZTP Zero to Pro. Excellent. Thank you for uploading your homework and your photo shoot. Uh, first glance, everything looks great. Looks like you are very promising. Looks like you could do great things. Um, just as a quick uh, word of introduction, I say this to everybody in their first homework, is the it's so important to do both the homework and the photo shoot. In the crazy, like weird scenario when you only have time to do one, you choose the photo shoot over the over the homework. Okay, the homework is there to help you internalize the ideas, and it's very important. But the photo shoot, you can also internalize the ideas. But the photo shoot's getting you. It's like working out your muscle memory with your hands. It's getting you familiar with your camera. It's getting you familiar with your clients, with your subjects, posing, uh, scouting locations, working out backgrounds, composition. The photo shoot is really where it's at. If you want to get good, which I really think you could do excellently, looking at what 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 you've done for us right now. If you really want to get good, you have to practice. Okay, practice means taking people people out going outside taking pictures of people and every it, you should look at it as an investment because every time you go out and you shoot you're going to get better and you're going to get better and you're going to keep getting better but it's completely on your shoulders that you have to practice um, a lot of a lot of people flake out of the course so um, please don't be one of those people I want you to be successful desperately want you to be successful it's on your shoulders say so stay strong Keep doing the work, I and mean, within 10 weeks, within even a few weeks, you're going to start seeing huge improvements within a couple of weeks. And by the end of it, in 10 weeks, you'll look back at these pictures and you think, I can't believe I even took these pictures where you're going to be. Okay, let's jump in. So, um, yep, yeah, this is triangle. Very good. Fine. Uh, what I say to everybody is for the next homework, you're welcome to upload a, another piece doing this again. Try and think a little bit more like out the box in regards to to make a triangle. It doesn't just have to be that you've arranged everything in a triangle. What could be is that if you move this box very far forward and then you had these things in the background, you could create a triangle that would only really exist if you kind of moved yourself into a certain position. Do you understand? As opposed to just arranging things in a triangle, it would be that only from a certain vantage point, because the green thing is like right in the front, very big, and you've got the packets of potato chips around the sides become smaller, you would be able to create a triangle that would only be visible from a certain place. In regards to taking pictures generally, that's how it works. You're, it's, it's rare that there's just like a thing there that's triangular, although that does happen. What we're trying to do is get to a certain place where we move the things around by moving ourselves. We don't really move anything, but we move ourselves that will that will organize the the graphics in such a way that things like triangles or circles or squares will start to form. Okay, so keep that in mind, and this is a good beginning. This is great, um, but thinking a little bit more kind of um, a little bit more in depth in regards to this idea. This is where we begin. Keep going further. Okay, great. Okay, in regards to textures, these are two great examples of textures. Um, let's just have, uh, there's two kinds of textures. There are soft textures, which would be like this, and hard textures. This is a good example of a hard texture. The reason why there's, um, why it's not so sharp is you're going to learn in the, in class three about shutter speeding in a C that this is very slow shutter speed so you didn't hold the camera steady so that's what happened here anyway the two kinds of textures soft textures and hard textures lead to two kinds of different feelings soft textures lead to a more relaxed passive feeling and hard textures lead to a more energized dynamic feeling okay very good well seen okay patterns yep white shirts create a pattern or any other colored shirts as all also create a pattern uh, this is great. A pattern, as we said, is a reoccurring is a, a, a reoccurring geometric sequence, and this is exactly that. Very good. Again, like we said in the video, textures and patterns can there's a the boundary is kind of blurry. Okay, and good. Another pattern. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, just we can make this a little bit more powerful uh, graphically by making it perfectly straight. Oh, the actual thing itself is a bit wonky. Okay, that's okay. And then if we crop in a little bit closer, let's get rid of that one over there. Uh, 
Good. Okay. Depth. Perfect. Very good. Um, would it be so if it wasn't for this? If it wasn't for this railing, um, it would be much less. But you, you've still got even even without the railing wood. But with the railing for sure, this is a great example of depth. Remember that the feeling of depth is primarily to do with triangles. Okay, we have a strong triangle over here. Do you see what I mean? Like the idea of the triangle, like I said with this picture here. So here we've got a strong triangle. But here, we also have a strong triangle, but there isn't really a triangle at all. It's only because you've gotten yourself into a certain position that's turned this into a triangle. You with me? Okay, that's a good example. And also, um, it's a decent example. You could have got, if you get a bit lower or found somewhere, maybe come over here, it would be a little bit more pronounced with the railings uh, or coming over closer to the railing over here, that would create a stronger triangle as well. But just remember that to get the feeling of perspective and depth, it's all to do with triangles. Okay, good one. Okay, and balance. This, so this is very interesting. I'm actually talk for a while about this because um, although he's looking in this direction, his body is very much turned in this direction. So it's actually quite a complicated uh, experience this picture you've cropped it very small but we'll work with that um, so balance wise I think I think that's a little bit more balanced because we've got such a strong right now as it is this picture the energies are more on this side which means it's a little bit my camera's back to front but this side is heavier than this side so it's a little bit like off kilter um, that's because even though he's looking that way his body is faced very much that way if his body was turned around the other way that would change the entire experience and it would be perfectly balanced it would be very good um, we could potentially do that in Photoshop to show you but I think there's other things to look at okay let's look at your photo shoot very good Let's just see what you're shooting on. You are on program. That's great. Okay. I think you're going to do fantastically. From what, looking, what, looking at what you've got here, I think you're going to do really well. Okay. First things first. Make sure that superfluous space is cut away. Okay. Be brutal. Be brutal with extra space. Cut it away. No need for it. Okay. Even more. Even more. There's a lot of movement in this picture. His hair's blown all over the place. That's great. I think we're going to take this one into light and we could do fantastic things with this in black and white. Let's have a look later. Okay. And again, this was a very windy day. Um, again, let's look at extra space. So this is a very ugly element in the picture. But if we cut this away, we'll end up cutting this away. And this is a very beautiful element. Let's have a look. Um, also, this sky here, although it's pretty it's not really uh, adding as much as this so when we crop in you could think of it in kind of two ways you could think of it as like what are you doing you're cropping away the sky the sky is very beautiful or you could say it in a different way you could say what we're doing is we're actually enlarging this area you understand because right now this area is only so big but when we crop in we've actually made this area comparatively bigger so by cutting away part of the image, we've made other parts of the image actually bigger, more of a percentage of the picture. So I think this crop here is actually a nicer shot. I think I would also like to extend this as a panel. This here really is very ugly. We could very, very quickly fix that in post. In fact, I think I'm going to show you very quickly how we're going to do that. It's just helpful to see stuff like this. I didn't save it, so I'm going to have to recrop it. But we can just do this very, very quickly. One second. You'll wait for the Photoshop class to see exactly how I'm doing this. But I'm, you'll, you'll get an idea anyway of what, what Photoshop's all about. We're going to crop first. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is just take my cloning tool and clone this 
See how easy that is? Oh, I love Photoshop. Do we have to go further? We could go further if we wanted. I don't know if it's really worth it, but let's let's do it just for the sake of doing it. So even to put these trees here doesn't really matter. But there we go. Okay, so we went in just two seconds. We went, oh, let's look after the crop from here to here. Excellent, very easy. Save it. And then when we look in Picasa, we will see that we've fixed that. Two moments. Okay, but it's better to work out ways of avoiding that in the first place. Okay, in regards to undoing the crop, I wonder what will happen if we do that. Yeah, so we've still got, we've actually gotten rid of this now. This is a great, this is a great picture. Okay, I love all the energy with the hair, that really is great. Okay, um, so compositionally, this diagonal line is not very, it's not very um, aesthetically pleasing. Uh, it creates a divide in the picture. D uh, diagonal lines are kind of involved to discuss, um, but in this case, it does create a break in the image, um, and we can't really see the kid's face. I'm not into this picture so much. Um, a picture like this, what could be really nice in a picture like this would be to go from above him. And to be shooting down, that means you'll get the perspective of the tree and you'll get a picture of the kid looking up to the camera. That could be very cute. Okay. Okay. Um, could also a little bit, be, be careful with these wacky angles. Be careful with these wacky angles. Not to say that you shouldn't do it, just, just, just make sure to uh, not do it too much. Okay. Um, crop in a little bit, get rid of this extra room. Just like that. That's nice. Okay, and this is cute. Okay, um, sharp wise, you have your everything's basically sharp. Just be aware of cropping in close. Okay, it's very rare that you can crop in too close. Okay, we could either crop like that or we could crop like this. Um, generally, when people start getting aware of cropping close, they start to crop out stuff low down and to leave space in the top. This is great. Like I said, you're going to look back at these pictures in a couple of weeks and you're going to think, oi, even though they're quite nice, you're going to think, oi, I can't believe that I was doing that because you're going to be so, so much better. Okay, let's take this one into Lightroom. Now, all I'm just thinking is just the energy here is awesome. So I just want to be going energy 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 i just want to add awesome energy to this picture so let's see what we can do i'm going to go black and white without a question and i'm going to bring up his skin tones the skin tones are usually around the yellows and the oranges in this case it's really the oranges that's good okay now i really want i mean let's let's just we need to open up a little bit more there we go now what I want is my clarity tool. I'm going to use my clarity on his hair to just make this, just to really bring out all of this craziness. You see what all that does? Excellent. We go all the way, open up the shadows a little bit. Wow, look at that. Excellent. I want to I want to brighten up his face a drop. Lift the exposure a teeny drop. That's great. I think I want to take your eyes away from all of this stuff a little bit by using my radial filter. Um, invert. Dropping this out a drop. This is great. Okay, let's have a look where we went from to. Look at the extra energy. It could even be to add some more energy here. Let's just add, let's redo this pin over here. Duplicate. There we go, even more. 
super energy. Okay, let's just have a quick look back. Very good, so you did excellently, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing what you do for us next week. Okay, all the best.